with electronics, which is why this week we're at the MIT Media Lab. We're here to check out the possibilities of what can be done with a little computer science and some electrical engineering. Okay, <laughs> so I'm Karen, and I'm a member of Lifelong Kindergarten here at MIT Media Lab. Our focus is to help people be creative and make things. And so our group has done a bunch of things to help people make things. Our group worked on Lego Mindstorms. And if you come in, I'll show you what we've been doing with Scratch, a new programming language to help you create all sorts of stories, games, music, animation. Scratch. It's really easy to create your own stories, games, music, animations, and the core principle behind Scratch is you build things by snapping blocks together, much in the way that you build things with Lego by snapping blocks together. So there are all sorts of ways of sensing the world through the sensor board. So we've got a slider, there's a light sensor which detects how much light there is in the room, there's a push button, so yes or no, on or off, there's a sound sensor, so the louder I talk, it can detect that. And then four resistance ports. So based on these, this set of sensors, you can build all sorts of interesting things that control your digital artifact. So I've connected the Scratch sensor board to the computer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a small program that makes music based on the resistance of things. So I'm going to go to the sound category. I'm going to drag out a plain note block, put it in a forever loop. So I just drop it in and it snaps together. And so now if I make this run, you can hear it's playing the same note. But I want that note to change based on the resistance that the sensor board is picking up. So I go down here, change it to resistance, drop that into the note value. So you can hear that's already changed. So now if I pour a bit of water on the table, I can make an interface that I can play based on resistance. So you can hear the pitch changing, the pitch of the note changing as the resistance changes. So further away, resistance is higher, the pitch is higher, the closer I get, the less resistance there is, the lower the note gets. So I can draw with it as long as it's connected. So now I can play with the water. Okay. So my name is Leah Beakley, and I'm a professor at the MIT Media Lab. And I head a group called High Low Tech, and we're interested in exploring the intersection of technology and new materials and also especially interested in enabling other people to work creatively with technology in a variety of ways. Uh, so the LilyPad Arduino is a toolkit that lets you sew electronics and computational devices into textiles. So it consists of a, a small computer, um, that's the Arduino part of LilyPad Arduino. Um, so it's a small sewable computer and then a set of sewable sensors, like light sensors and temperature sensors and motion sensors, and a set of sewable output devices. So there's sewable lights and motors and devices like that. And the way you connect all the pieces is that you stitch them together with electrically conductive thread. So I'm Kian June. Um, this is my project. It's called Soundy, um, for obvious reasons. Um, and how it works is it, it has a lily pad Arduino on the back um, and it's sewn uh, in with conductive thread to create circuits throughout the hoodie and um, there are pieces of conductive fabric ironed onto the sleeve and uh, to here um, so that when I touch <laughs> both of them then I complete the circuit. So we've been playing around with this idea of interactive, programmable wallpaper. Um, and so these teardrop microcontrollers, some little Arduinos, um, um, 
XB boards and then LEDs and motors and other things. So here you can see the little teardrop LED and then it just has this um, magnetic lampshade attached to it. Um, and this wallpaper is made with conductive paint and magnetic paint and then traditional paint. So all of the circuitry is really just painted on the surface of the wall here. So there's nothing hidden behind the walls. Um, right now I can control lighting and other um, actuators on the surface by touching these pink flowers. Um, I would change the wall to control my stereo. So that play the song and now I'm stopping it and now I can play that again play a different song. We've seen a lot of really awesome electronic projects here at the Media Lab. So now for this week's design question. We want to know what the most interesting electronic project or product you've seen is. Please copy and paste a link below in the comments section on the fairytalefashion.org website.